Sky Fracture is a major weapon liked by many Terraria fans for being a truly phenomenal weapon. It's an upgrade from objectively one of the worst weapons in the game from Sun's Undertale Kum Cave. Combining it with Light Shard and Gay Fairy's Peace turns it into objectively one of the coolest mage stuff in the game. If you think otherwise, my opinion is right and yours is objectively wrong. It summons magical swords to impel your enemy's guts. It even has the second highest critical strike chance in the game, useful for striking your mom. Despite it being a cool weapon, it gets underpowered after you pawn a mechanical boss's bassy by a musical instrument. Luckily, Calamity adds an upgrade by combining it with Essence of Edge and Mechanical Sun's Calm. You will get the Infernal Rift. Instead of sword, it now summons and rains down Devil Forks straight from hell itself, sending your enemies to eternal pain. It naturally deals a bit more damage than Sky Fracture, but the best part is it inflicting the Brimstone HD buff on your enemies. And it's quite an early upgrade, considering you only need to defeat Robot Sons, because the next upgrade is as late as your dad coming home from buying milk, since you will need Moon Lord's Uretra, a useless captor, excreted space matter, and literal piss to get the Ultra Liquidator. Capable of shooting RGB gaming forks at your foes. I wouldn't say dealing damage is its biggest strength, even though it has decent damage. But its ability to inflict green on fire, blue on fire, oh god I'm on fire, and peace tetanus on enemies. Combined with good base damage and a whopping 34% critical strike chance. I'd say it's a good support weapon, even though I think it needs a buff to the debuff duration it inflicts. It is decent, it is good against Providence, but I'm not a fan of it. Apparently there is a pattern in Calamity upgrades, as the next upgrade is also as late as the former, like your dad coming home from a business trip, because it requires Dryden's Vacuum Cleaner to be defeated first, and all of this Yu-Gi-Oh! Exodia of Magic Stuff's upgrades that I literally can make individual videos out of, to get the vivid clarity. Naturally, as a light show Hololive concert endgame weapon, it is very good. It shoots eye-raping beams that home splits, bounces, explode, and rain down from the sky at your most. They also ignore immunity frames and deals too much debuffs. It is a good weapon but really expensive and time consuming to craft. Now you have to ask yourself, is it worth the farm? If I'm playing as a mage, I would say yes, but then again, I have no life.